I'm Anne-Marie Holmes and I'm the Intel Ireland um, Fab Manager and I'm responsible for all of the manufacturing that occurs on the Intel Ireland site. It's a large site um, that had 12, has had 12.5 billion dollars of investment which is the largest investment in the Irish state. Um, we, I employ basically uh, four and a half thousand employees both indirectly and directly out here and we manufacture one of Intel's uh, leading products and um, we're one of three sites that does that and the only international site that manufactures this flagship product for Intel Corporation. Diversity in the tech, tech in industry, it is, um, it, it is a challenge and I think that the reason is, is that it is um, difficult or it has been difficult encouraging females to do um, science, engineering, technology, maths subjects, and um, both in you know second, you know secondary school or in third level education. It's just something that doesn't seem to appeal um, to the female population, and therefore, the available folks that you can hire into the technology industry is less than maybe in other industries. And with um, Intel Corporation. Um, actually, in, in January, our CEO um, announced that um, he was allocating $300 million to ensure that um, it was put to many um, uh, tactics and a, a strategy actually at Intel to ensure that parity was reached um, across all levels of the organization by 2020. And really, um, in the in Intel globally, we'd have about 25% uh, of our population would be female. Um, and locally here, because as I said earlier, it's a very high tech um, industry that we run here. Um, and the jobs are predominantly high technical content jobs. Um, our uh, female population would be about 15%. I think that when you have a group of people that are a mixture of male and female, you get such a diverse um, perspective on the problem you're trying to solve. And you see angles and you hear different angles on what it is that the problem is and then different kind of considerations or inputs on how you'd fix it. And I can tell you time and time again, no matter what the problem is, I have seen firsthand when you have more diverse opinions or more inputs on how something should be solved, you get an overall better solution. I left college, um, you know, a couple of years ago at this stage, and I have worked with Intel ever since. Um, and to be honest, most of the time, I really don't notice that I am the only woman or one of two women in any meeting or any room. And that's a real testament to the people that I work with, okay, that I am never made feel different. Um, or I'm never made feel that I, my opinion is less valued. And what I really um, felt was, was great when I was, um, com you know, kind of moving through my career paths was that I realized that I didn't have to always do the same thing to stay working full time. And so being able to adapt your career to where you are in your life cycle is hugely important. And it was hugely important for me. And it's part of what has kept me working full time. Because I was able to be a group leader. I was able to go on assignment at early phases. I was able to move laterally. When my kids were small, I was able to move back into the engineering role. As my kids got a little bit older, I was able to go on a short sabbatical coverage when my kids were teenagers. You know, things that, um, things that facilitated my career, but that I could do it on my terms. One of the things that we do at Intel is that we have scholarships. We have about 30 scholarships that we offer to females who study at third level 
technology degrees. Okay, and part of that is that there's a scholarship there, so it helps you through university, but there's mentorship that we give those students and summer work that we give those students so they can see what it's like to have that as a real career going forward. One of the key statistics that we have, I'm very proud of actually, is um, we have hired a huge number of graduates um, in the last number of years and these would be masters and PhD graduates. As I said, it's a high tech um, industry um, predominantly filled with um, masters and PhDs um, in here. And on our recent um, new college graduate hires, we have hired 37% of that pool as females. I'm really proud of that. And a couple of items that we've done is make sure that on every interview panel that you have at least one female interviewing. We have this um, women in Intel um, kind of group. And what it actually gives us um, is, is is allow, it enables us to be able to form a network. Now it's not just for females, it, it's equally available to males. But when you're one of 10 people normally in a team, you're kind of one um, female and you don't really have other females naturally to, to talk to during the day. So this program or this networking um, kind of system allows you to interact with other females so you can learn from them as they've gone through their career how they've done changes like how they move from being you know in engineering into a program role or back to engineering at different phases of their lives so you can learn how people were able to adapt as they're moved up their careers and were able to balance and how they figured out how to balance what they needed at given times in their lives we've set up this um, technical female leadership pipeline. And um, in that, we select our up and coming, great, future, fantastic performers, and we give um, them some extra help around confidence building, around interviewing, around, you know, very simple stuff. Now, it's, it's there and it's, uh, it's available if people want it, but it's mostly around coaching. Um, and I think one of the key things that it helps with is coaching that um, it's often said, and I think it is true, um, is that, you know, I, I'd raise a wreck here, you know, a job opening. And I would often find that I'd have to go around to the females and say, did you not think of applying? Why wouldn't you think of applying? And universally I'll get, but Amory, I wouldn't be able to do this, this and this. Yeah, that's like 5% of what you couldn't do. You'll figure out that. I think you've probably got 95% of the attributes. And so basically helping people and giving people confidence, I think um, is, is really where that program has got a great benefit from us. And actually over the last couple of years, we've gone from, I think about 7% of our management roles being covered by females to now 13%. I think when I was in college, I really would never have known genuinely what my job could have possibly been, okay? And I think that um, this is, is there's just such huge opportunities to do whatever you really want to do. Um, I would say, that this sector is, is probably one that you, you need to realise that there is a viable, vibrant career out there for you. And you will be able to have this career till you're 70 years of age. We have uh, sponsored Inspirefest and it's really, I suppose, around, we are passionate about two of the items that Inspirefest promotes and that's around STEM um, and encouraging females to go into technology subjects. And the second one is that it's also around encouraging and, and putting a platform out there for diversity. And that's the second thing that we're very passionate about and that we think is necessary for us to be successful in the future.